Hi guys, it's uh, Jeff here. Welcome to wordpressaustralia.com.au That's my new WordPress website. And today I'm going to show you how to install a WordPress website on GoDaddy. Um, I use a lot of different hosting providers. Um, among them Bluehost, GoDaddy and Hostgator. But um, I would certainly recommend GoDaddy if you are on a budget and looking to start a website, uh, WordPress website quickly and on the cheap. Um, so let's just go ahead. I will just type in my website address now. So it's WordPress A U S T R A L I A dot com dot A U because this is an Australian website that I've just launched. I've got the .com.au domain. Um, sometimes GoDaddy um, does have um, specials on for .com.au domains and you can get it as cheap as $9.99. Um, they are quite competitive in um, the domain names and now that they sell Australian domain names as well, they are quite competitive. Um, so check them out if you're out for a Australian domain. So as you can see, the website's just loaded. That's my website. And I've just created a tutorial on how to make a website with WordPress and one click install. So this particular one, it sort of um, uh, focuses on GoDaddy as a hosting provider to launch a WordPress website. And I've kept that in mind mainly because um, many many bloggers when they start out they're looking out for a cheap hosting provider which will just get just get the job done as such and you know get your website online and GoDaddy do, does have a very very good deal right now which is one dollar for hosting um, domain and email as well just for one dollar a month so let's go, get on with it um, as you can see from my website, oh yeah, I've just launched this web page just now. So let's scroll down right to the bottom. I've written a lot about choosing your website hosting. Let's go daddy in there. And different reasons why you choose, you know, um, different hosting providers and different platforms to blog as such. Um, WordPress is one of the easiest blogging platform. So that is definitely my top most recommended choice if you're starting a website or blog. It's so easy to manage and um, you know expand and um, add functionality. So it's so easy. So as you can see, if you just go through if you go to this blog, have a read, you might find something um, useful to you. But the main process um, to install a WordPress blog is right here, the one-click install process as it is. So if you want to go to that process, these are the main 10 steps in there. But I will go through that in detail in the, in the next couple of screens. Um, but pretty much as I said, for one dollar you get a one dollar hosting a month. You get a free domain as well, and you get free email. So that's the current deal. So to avail of that deal, I've got a special promo link over here. So you can click that. So what's we'll just go through the whole hoops over here. Um, I'll just come back to that later, but I'll just show you the rest of the page. So as you can see, I've compared a few different plans. So currently GoDaddy is the cheapest web hosting plan over here. Um, you can go to the features over here. If you click it over here as well, you can get the deal, um, the $1 deal. Um, Bluehost is another one which I like, uh, but it's $3.95. So it's a little bit more pricier than the current GoDaddy deal. Bluehost is a good um, hosting provider as well. I've also got um, accounts with HostGator, so they are pretty good. I've tried VP Engine, but um, I haven't stuck with them. Um, um, yeah, I don't have an account with them anymore. Um, so I'll just scroll through. So that's the end of the whole post over there. I've you know, written little bits of everything, what, what it's all about, different kinds of hostings. 
So what we are focusing today is um, how to install your first website um, on your GoDaddy hosting account. So the first part that you need to do really is actually get a GoDaddy account to get started. So if you just click over here, that'll get you started. So I will just click over there. I'll just open it in a new tab just so that this website is open as well. And there you go, that's opening there. Hmm. That's strange. Um, it's showing 149 um, a month. All right, uh, I don't know why. Oh, okay, hold on a second. Maybe because it's Singapore dollars. Let's change that to USD. There you go, it's one dollar a month. I don't know why my why my laptop did that, but it's one dollar a month when it's USD. We just check AUD just to see if that makes a difference as well. Most of the time I buy in um, um, uh, USD, so I pay. So as you can see, I changed it to AUD. So for Australians as well, it's just one dollar a month. So that's pretty pretty good. So we'll go to the economy plan, and as it says, it's perfect to get started with the basic site. So you get a WordPress basic site, but yeah, WordPress you can pretty much do anything. As you can see, the normal price is ten dollar ninety nine, and it's on sale right now. They often come up with a sale, so grab it now if you if you're really wanting to start a blog on a cheap or a website on a cheap. So we'll go with it. That's the, basically the features that you get with it, which is one website, unlimited bandwidth, and hundred gigabytes storage, which is pretty, pretty um you know, you know, full. You can easily run many websites on 100 um, gigabyte storage. Um, it's more than enough, really, to say. So we'll just click on that, and it says um, you can see that link there. I don't want my free domain. Why wouldn't you claim your free domain? Just go and put it in. Now the thing is, if you are um, planning to launch Australian blog. You might want a .com.au um, with this particular plan. You can't actually get a .com.au. The free domain name is only a .com. So let's go and try it on. Say um, I'm starting a new blog. I'll just start Jeff's. Uh, just put some numbers in just to so that make it a bit easier. Just 52 uh, car blog. Car. Right. So as you can see, these are the free domains that you can choose from the domain names. So we'll just go with the .com. There we go. And round and round and round and round you go. And round and round we go. Still going. Unusually long. Okay then. We'll just wait while it does its job. As you can see, award-winning support, more than 13 million customers, world's number one domain name registrar, yada yada yada. Okay, and still doing its thing. Maybe somebody's already taken that domain name. Mm -hmm. Still going, still going. Go back to my website while that's still doing it. I don't know why it's taking so long today. 
um, over here I've sort of shown the different kinds of hosting mainly shade hosting dedicated hosting VPS hosting and manage optimize WordPress hosting GoDaddy has also managed WordPress deluxe hosting which is a little bit more pricier but the plans that you get cheaper are the shade hosting plans so this is a Linux um, shade hosting plan that we have that we are buying today to start a blog on the cheap um, let's go back okay there you go it's done so it says congratulations jeffs52carweb.com is available so I'll just click on add and continue <coughs> alright so that's very straightforward uh, as you can see what you get is the economy Linux hosting with cPanel which is 90% off as, is, as I said it's $10.99 and um, so one dollar at one dollar a month you're saving that much and it's costing you twelve dollars and that's the domain name that you just got free as well so it's 0, 0.00 and what you do is you just click on proceed to check out and um, pay out pay out um, it'll ask you for your credit card details at the next screen and you just click that make a payment um, Yep, at this stage it's recorded everything. So if you already have a GoDaddy account, you obviously you put it in, put your username or custom number and password over here. But as you're starting new, what you would do is go right to the bottom over there, as you can say, follow my mouse. See that? Right over there. It's called create an account so over there you'd put in a username and an email and create your account over there and claim that one dollar discount uh, and then when you log in that deal will still be there you just click and pay add your credit card and you're set so you're set to start to create your new um, website now that's all done you've purchased your hosting you purchased your you got your domain name now I've created a small little word word file over here just to show you how the next step goes um, happens so this is the um, word document that I've created to install a GoDaddy WordPress website with godaddy.com so once you put in your you create your username and get a login and you know you purchased everything you will log into your GoDaddy account and this is how you install a WordPress website so as soon as you log in into your GoDaddy account you'll click sign in when, when you go to the main page on your GoDaddy sign in there put your username and your account and this is the screen this is the first starting screen okay so you're logged in now put your username password the next thing you will see is this screen so it lists your domain, web hosting, yada yada yada, all sorts of different things. So what you need to do is click manage. So if you've got a Linux hosting with cPanel, uh, your next screen will look like this. When you click manage. If you if you purchase something else like manage um, WordPress hosting, your screen might look a little bit different but the basic um, kind of idea of the screens will still be the same so when you click manage that's where you go and from here on it gets pretty easy because all you need to find is um, you know that WordPress icon uh, you can click over here as well um, but you just scroll down scroll down scroll down and you'll come down to this um, thing called web applications click over here um, and then the process starts so once you click on the WordPress you can start the whole installation process um, so you will click on WordPress over here on web applications and then you will get this screen next which is the actual WordPress installation um, page I'll give you a lot of information about WordPress WordPress is a superb software to launch a website it's so easy to add functionality, change design, add payment options, all sorts of things. And it can be used as a blog or portfolio page.
many things um, what you would do at this screen is click on install this application which is installing your WordPress now what the next screen will show you is pretty much this so you've got your domain name so it'll show you a domain name if you purchase more than one domain name then you can click on the arrow here and choose which domain name you want to start installing WordPress and this page goes on down to ask you for your um, admin login which you can uh, specify if you don't want to accept the default one that they put down over there it will also ask you for a password you can put that in a specific password that you need and as there's a lot of lot of auto filled content on this form just scroll down through see if everything's okay change what was necessary and then you will go to the bottom where you will see this thing you click on install once you click on that install button um, before you click on install I would suggest that um, you note down the login uh, name that's put in there you, uh, that's got recorded on this form and also the password so that you know you got it safely written down somewhere once uh, once this all happens so once you click on install that's the pretty much the last process of your of your website you click install that's a one click install you've entered all that information it'll go ahead and do everything it'll install your whole wordpress website and then it'll send out an email which you would have put in this previous form um, over there and it'll send out an email saying this is your wordpress website login url click on this and once you click on that it'll ask you for your username and uh, password you just enter that and you you'll enter your website and from there on pretty much you can change the design by clicking and changing a design you can click and add a plugin or you can click and just start um, writing content and click publish and your blog is done so pretty much that's it you're all done that's the last process so that's how you install a wordpress website um, on godaddy if you do need any help with this um, feel free to leave a comment on my blog or get in touch with me with the contact button it's pretty straightforward really I will um, um, publish this whole process onto my blog and also sort of create a more detailed um, um, PDF um, help file so but for most people I mean if you just follow this whole process it should get done and you should get a WordPress website ready to be start publishing and that's at just uh, one dollar a month so it's pretty much twelve dollars um, to install a new blog or a website um, yeah um, in some parts over here in Australia if you get two coffees yeah that's pretty much it the cost of a blog for a whole year um, so that's it hope um, those instructions help you um, and good luck and get in touch with the contact button if you do need more information, adios.